Hello, this is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I've got some exciting news. I'm going to give you a little history. Um, Gillis, who does a YouTube channel on shortwave listening also, bought one of these um, software-defined radio receivers. And he, I think he got one of the first ones that this gentleman built. He, he, this gentleman has been building these for quite a while. And uh, he had a few problems with it. And so we worked with the gentleman and got those ironed out. The gentleman's come up with a couple of revisions. And um, Gillis has gotten one of the newer ones and has it on his show a number of times. And it, it works very well. And it's... Um, it's a, it's a standalone little receiver, and I'll be showing you in the next video what it physically looks like. And um, it doesn't require a separate up converter. The up conversion is built into this little device that this gentleman designed. He designed the device and packaged it and everything. And he sells those these on eBay. And I contacted him on eBay and ask him if he had a demo unit available that I could test on my show. And he says, I'm working on a brand new design and I would like you to uh, check them out. So, this was, that was a couple weeks ago. So, yesterday in the mail, I got one. And this is the newest, newest design. He doesn't have them on eBay for sale yet. He does have them on his webpage, and uh, the name of the device is Soft 66 RTL, and then there's a number, and this is the one he's selling right now is the number three, and if I scroll down here, I can get my mouse to work here. Here's some more pictures of it. Here's a description of it. It works from 0.4 megahertz to 30 megahertz. And then also from 50 megahertz to 1.7 gigahertz. Pretty wide band. It has a four band filter via this orange switch right here. And the latest design is slightly different than the previous one. And I'll show you in a few minutes what the outside differences are. And you use the common uh, drivers for these TV dongles, you use the common free software such as HD SDR or um, SDR Sharp, that names a few of them. Here's what this version looks like inside. Now the one that he sent me is a newer version and it definitely looks different. Here's a close-up of the controls. Here's where you select the four bands, and here's where you select the RF gain. Here is the HF input, and if you go up here, this also has a separate VHF input, which mine does not. Okay, and then he answers some questions. So this is this is what he has available right now um, on eBay for sale, and I believe this is the version that Gillis is using on his show and like I say he's got a lot of videos using this receiver and it appears to be working quite well. So let's go to his his web page which is right here which is um, I'll, I'll put the link in the description below this video and here is his this is the link to his newest design which is what should be in this package that I just got. You notice it only has one connector now, set up two. Here's the instructions for setting it up. You can buy these apparently directly from him um, for $47. This is US dollars. And there's some pictures using um, HD SDR software. Here he describes, here's the four filter selectors, depending on what band you want to tune. 
and then talks about the RF gain. Here's the USB interface to your computer. Here's the antenna input, which is an SMA connector, which I have an adapter for that. I got it from my other uh, dongle, TV dongles. So I will be doing, the next video I will be doing is showing you um, the package itself. And then I'll do another video, or probably a number of videos, actually showing you it in use. And I'm really excited about this since I saw the videos from Gillis and it seems to be working pretty darn cool. This could be the answer to my wide spectrum uh, SDR. And he, he, he also wanted me to try to test it on the uh, low frequency band, but I don't really have a good antenna for low frequency reception, but I'm still going to test it using my the longest antenna I've got and see what it does. So anyway, that's the show. Um, like I say, I'll be doing a couple more shows initially um, explaining what this is, and then I'll be doing more shows in the future using this radio. So if you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Again, I'll go back to his eBay ad. Here's his eBay ad for the previous design. I did not find his newest design on there yet. It might be there. Let me just, if I go under his name, see other items. Let's see what other items he's got. Okay, no, nope, he doesn't have this new design released yet. So I'm kind of a beta tester beta tester for him for this new design so anyway thanks for watching bye bye